Hey guys, Yukok here. The final boss in the game, Dr. Neo Cortex. We're gonna take him on in the Crash and Sane trilogy. Um, Crash Bandicoot 1. So, this guy, he's pretty tough, but once you figure out exactly what he does, it's not that bad. I mean, the only thing to watch out for here is the attacks he uses. The hit window on the attacks is really big. It's bigger than the attack themselves. You've got to like sort of over exaggerate how far away you need to go away from like the lasers he's throwing at you. He throws different colored lasers, purple, blue, and um, green. The purple ones go straight for you. You just got to, um, you know, jump away from them. The blue ones go along the top or the bottom of the screen. They can go either on the top, the bottom, or they sort of wiggle up and down. Um, you'll see here, it's not too hard to avoid them though. Um, and then the green ones, what you gotta do when he fires a green one is spin it back at him and that charges up and that's what's used to take down his life. So you'll see here, they start going up and down. Easy way to avoid these, just stand in the middle. They can't get you. They can't get you. It's so easy. <laughs> hey Crash, what up? And then the final part of this is he'll fire all these purple ones at you over and over again really fast in succession, but he's got to avoid him. It's not too bad. And then you'll notice here he's got one life left. Oh no! What do we do? One green blob. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Cortex is down. It's... To be honest, I said it was quite... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if I said it was hard or not, but yeah, it's really easy. <laughs> it's actually really easy for a final boss. Not as easy as Crash Bandicoot 2. But it's really easy. And then you see the final cutscene here. Crash Bandicoot getting a piece of Tawny. And that thick ass. Good job, Crash. Good job. And then they sail off into the sunset. Happily ever after. The end! Or is it?